Hey, good morning, everyone. Back in the Dooley, Mr. Summit here. Just rolled in. Guys, it's a rainy day here in Hickson, Tennessee. I just want to do a quick video. Um, I pray how I can spread the gospel to other people. And um, every day I ask the Lord to bless me and my family. Certain ones in the family that are dealing with health issues, I ask God to lay his healing hands on them. And I praise the Lord and praise him every day for his blessings. But I want to be used by God. I want to be a tool of God. I want to spread the gospel of Jesus. If you just believe like the thief on the cross did, you can have eternal life. Um, anyway, guys, I, a rainy day here in Hickson, Tennessee. My windows are fogged up I'm right across from Northgate Gallery here. Um, in a new little plaza that has some really neat businesses in it, Starbucks at the end, I'm about to go visit. Uh, but I was in Walmart. Oh, I went by Walmart um, to send a little money to my sponsor that needed books and some clothings for his boys and some shoes um, so he could start school over in Kenya, Africa. Uh, so it's a, uh, the Omala family that I sponsored. Uh, but praise God, he got a job. He's making four hundred dollars a month. Uh, he had no work for over a year, and I've been sponsoring him and his his boys and his farm to get it up and running. But um, anyway, uh, that's not what this video is about. Uh, some of my friends and people out there I don't know uh, helped Josh this summer, and I, and I appreciate everybody's help. God's blessing him with a job, um, really good job being a manager of a hotel there. Um, but I was in Walmart, so I stopped at Walmart to send him a little money for his kids. He hasn't received his first paycheck yet. They pay him monthly, I believe. Um, so he's got four weeks to go, and so I'm helping him a little bit there, school starting. In the parking lot, when I got out in the pouring rain, there sat someone's wallet. Um, there wasn't many, many dollars in it. Uh, there is some cash, $2 bills, maybe one tucked away. I didn't want to poke and pry too much in this guy's wallet. And I'm not going to say his name, uh, full name anyway, but he has his ID in here. Um, well, this is his ID. Um, I had it out and, um, it's soaking wet, but you know, he's got his credit cards, his ID, his TV, Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union debit card, his school card, his gas card. Who knows what else? I haven't dug real deep in it. Uh, I've got it sitting here on my uh, on my gear shift, and I've got the hot air blowing on it, trying to dry it out. But anyway, I won't say his last name, but his his name was uh, his Austin is his first name. Lives here in Hickson. Looks like he might be in. Uh, um, in college anyway i found him on facebook typed his name in sure enough had a picture of him there there he was and um so i've messaged him i messaged him on messenger hey have you lost anything and that's all i'm waiting for his response um and i'm trying to dry out his wallet at the same time but i'm like how can i witness to this guy you know what can i do to help spread the gospel i said hey i'm gonna invite him to church um so I wrote him a little note here. Let me put my glasses on. I don't, I'm not the best writer, but see if you can see it here. Hi, Austin. I am glad I found your wallet. I want to invite you to an awesome hour at Calvary Chapel Northside, Sundays, 9, 11, and 1 p.m. at 8615 Hickson Pike, Hickson, Tennessee. It will be the best hour of your week. And then I've got my love, my name is there, my full name. I haven't left my phone number or anything. But I'm just going to slip it in his wallet. A little piece of paper here. Slip it in his wallet. Put it right in there where the money is once it's dried out. And, uh, hey, it's just a little way to spread the gospel. Because I believe the teaching the gospel at this church that I'm attending. Um, and uh, maybe he'll take me up on it. I told him it's the... Come spend an awesome hour at Calvary Chapel. Be the best hour you've spent all week. I'm going to put this in his wallet. Um, 
maybe he'll be bored one day on a Saturday, have nothing to do. I'm going to take him up on it. I may not believe in, he may not believe in God. He may think it's crazy. Maybe he'll come there to, to find some points that are not true or reason why not to believe. Maybe he's a believer. I don't know, but it's just an opportunity. I wanted to do something to, uh, help someone believe today. Anyway, love you guys. Keep believing.